Hey guys, Carol Sif here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Henshin Belt Deluxe Cyclone Riser from Kamen Rider 01. This is a premium bonding exclusive item, which is the belt used by Kamen Rider Ichigata to transform in the movie Kamen Rider Reiwa, the first generation. This set includes the Cyclone Riser itself, one Zetsume Rise key, a set of belt straps, and a belt stopper. So, let's get started. First up, we'll look at the included Rocking Hopper Zetsume Rise Key. So, this is meant to be the Zetsume Rise Key equivalent or counterpart to the Rising Hopper Progress Key, and of course, like with all Zetsume Rise Keys, it is based on extinct animal, in this case, the Rocky Mountain Locust, an extinct species of Grasshopper. So, for this one, the design is, of course, very similar to that of the Rising Hopper Key, with the same Grasshopper image, but this time it has a blue color for the face, and obviously being a Zitsume Rise Key, it not only has the Zitsume Rise Key symbol, but also has both the front cover and the main body as black, rather than having the color of the front cover on the body as well. Of course it says Rocking Hopper, type Zetsumets. If you open it up, we can see it's got the same inner part as Rising Hopper, but this time in red instead of blue. So, there are several sounds this can make on its own. First up, the name announcement. Kevin Ryder. Then the ability. Rocking Hopper's ability. And after that, we have several phrases from Soreo Hide, Soreo Hiden. Aruto Hiden, aka Zero One's father, who transforms into Ichigata. Aruto, yume ni mukatte, tobe. Yume wo wasuretsu ni tatakae. Muri da yo. Robot no tousa ni wa kokoro ga nai kara. Ore no yume wa ore ga warai Aruto ga warau sekai da. Human gear mo ningen mo mamoru. And then lose back to the beginning. And of course, with so many phrases, I will put the translations down in the description. And if you press and hold the button on top, Henshin. each guy will say Henshin. Next up, we'll look at the Cyclone Riser itself. So, obviously, as fans of the series can tell, this is a recolor of the Mitsubo Jinrai Force Riser. Here we have a side by side comparison. So for starters, the main color has been changed from black to silver with red accents, and then the silver pots here have been changed to gunmetal. But besides all that, there are now also a bunch of markings and have now been decaled onto the body, making it look like some kind of prototype with different tech specs written on it, but obviously there's a bunch of lines as it would be too small to write actual text in there. Of course, they both have the same mechanism to open by just pulling on the lever, as well as pushing in to close it. Comes with a set of belt straps, this time in a light gray color, as well as the belt stopper. And of course, with all these that have the straps separate with no actual connectors, it's the same as usual where we slide one strap, slide the other to connect them to the back. Though admittedly, with this belt, it's a little bit tougher because of the flat back design, so the right strap doesn't exactly want to start off by 
coming up over the left strap. Just like that. Don't make a liar out of me. There we go. Of course, you slide on the belt stopper. Put them in the back. And then slide the stopper to hold it all together. And there we have the completed Cyclone Riser. We'll switch on the belt, we'll get an activation noise. Cyclone Riser! Where it announces its name, and then we also have the sound it makes when you open and close it. Something that makes it stand out from the Force Riser is that it has a unique sound for when it opens and closes. Whereas with the Force Riser, Force Riser. those two sounds are the same. <laughs> Next, we'll use the Rocking Hopper key with the Cyclone Riser to activate the transformation into Ichigata. And there we have the transformation into Kamen Rider Ichigata, aka Kamen Rider Type 1. And its name is a play on Master Rider 1's name in Japanese, Kamen Rider Ichigo. So here we have an image of Ichigata in his rocking hopper form. This is actually the same base suit or main suit as Kamen Rider 001, but with the panels colored differently. You'll see the head sculpt here has a kind of a high-tech version of the original Kamen Rider. So he's got this kind of color scheme, which is actually based on the look of the original suit for the first Rider, which had a lot of blue instead of all the green that he's mainly known for now, which is actually uh, Shin One or Shin Ichigo. From here, we actually get a couple of voice lines that we press the button on top of the Exist Mirai's key. And it's just two. So then we have two special attacks. So, obviously, like with the Force Rider, in order to activate them, you just push in the lever and pull it back out. The first of the attacks is Rocking Spark. Rocking and then we can deactivate the transformation. Additionally, we can also use the Rocking Hopper key with other belts. Starting with the zero one driver. Kevin Ryder. There we get the transmission, and then we have the rocking impact. Rocking impact. And 
And we also power it up with a separate ProGrise key. After that, we'll use it with the shot riser. Cannon rider. Then we'll activate the rocking blast. And attach it to the buckle for the rocking blast fever. And because it makes the same sound pattern, I won't be using it with the Force Riser. And then we can bring in one of the attached weapons, Force Weapon Finisher. And lastly, other progress keys can be used with the Cyclone Riser. And there we go. Overall, this is a very cool belt, which not only serves as a sort of prototype to the other Zero One belts, but also is a nice tribute to the original Kamen Rider. And it's fitting for a writer who could technically be chronologically in and within the series could be considered the first Reiwa era Kamen Rider, and that's a point that could be argued with some other stuff, but in the series at least, in the chronology, each guy that came before Zero One, so it's pretty cool that they had this kind of throwback belt for him. Of course, this is a recolor, but they did add in a lot of unique sounds to make the stand out from the Force Riser, as well as the new unique paint job with a little bit of detail added. So, if you're a fan of this rider, if you think this belt looks cool, I definitely try, I definitely recommend trying to look for it on the aftermarket. Now this is one of a few different items from Zero One that I was supposed to get months ago. <coughs> but because of the pandemic, there were problems getting the stuff shipped to the US. So it took a while to get here. So this is going to be the first of a few different reviews where I'll be looking at some of those different items that should have reviewed a while ago. Next up is the Deluxe Zaya Slash Riser. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe to the bell icon. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.